This is part two of my video on how to make object-oriented buttons in Python with Pygame. If you haven't seen part one, please look in the information below to find a link and watch that one first. In this video, I'll show you how to use my free package called Pig Widgets to make buttons that use either text or custom graphics. These buttons will have many more features and options, including a rollover state, a disabled state, the ability to change the location, and many more. All the code that I'll show here is available on my GitHub repository, so you won't need to type in anything. The material in both of these videos is included in my new book, Object Oriented Python, which is available on Amazon, from the publisher No Starch Press, and technical booksellers everywhere. Let's get started. This is a demonstration program for the Pig Widgets package that contains a number of basic user interface widgets, including text buttons and custom buttons, some checkboxes and radio buttons, uh, some text input fields, some text output fields, and image objects. But in this video, I'll be focusing on these buttons. I wrote this package for two reasons. First, it allows students in my beginning Python classes to more easily create small game projects. Second, the code serves as good examples of object-oriented programming concepts. You can install the Pig Widgets package by opening the command line, then typing the following commands. The first command ensures that you have the proper version of the pip program, which installs packages, and the second line actually installs the Pig Widgets package itself. After the package is installed, you can make it available to your program by using a simple import statement. I'll show a basic Pygame-based program that uses these two styles of buttons. Then I'll explain how the state machine for these buttons differs from the simple button in the first video. Then I'll show some code. In this sample program, there's a text button at the top where the images are created on the fly from a given string of text. The images for the button on the bottom come from external graphic files. Notice that each of these buttons has an up, an over, and a down state. Also notice that the behavior of the button image switching is identical independent of whether it's a text button or a custom button image. The programmatic interface for both types of buttons uses the exact same approach as the simple button shown earlier. We use the same three steps. First, you instantiate a button from the class. Second, every time through the event loop, you call the handle event method of the object, which returns false in most cases, but will return true when the button is clicked. Third, you call the draw method of the object to make it draw in the window. Here's the code of the main test program. I'm importing the pig widgets package to bring in the text button and custom button classes. For a text button, you only need to specify the window to draw into, a location, and a string of text. For a custom button, you specify the window, a location, a path to an up button, and it's customary to have paths to the down button, the over button, and the disabled version of the button. Here is the event loop where we check for different events. Every time through the event loop we call the handle event method of both the text button and the custom button. Most of the time these calls will return false so nothing happens, but if the user completes a click on either button then we can do whatever we want. Here I'm just printing a little message to say that the button got clicked on. Finally, at the bottom we have to draw both buttons. So we call the draw method of both of these button objects. When you instantiate a button from either of these classes, there are a number of optional parameters which have reasonable defaults, but you can easily modify the look or behavior of the button by passing in additional optional arguments when you create the button. 
The details are all in my documentation, which can be found online here. Here's the documentation of the text button class. Here you can change the look of the button by specifying the width, the height, the text color, the up color, over color, down color, the font and the font size, allow the button to be activated with the enter key, etc. When you use the text button, the code of the text button class creates images on the fly for you using the drawing code that's built into Pygame. The art may not be ideal, but the buttons it creates are great for rapid prototyping. And here is the documentation for the custom button. There are a few optional arguments as well. The custom button code works with any button graphics you want to use, but PNG images are generally the best. Here's another main test program that shows three text buttons and three custom buttons. Notice that the text buttons have different looks to them because they are created with different arguments. The custom buttons are all made using different graphic files. In terms of image switching, these classes implement a state machine with an additional state, the overstate. Adding the overstate makes the implementation a little bit more complicated, but again, all the code to implement the state machine is built into the handle event method in the classes. That way, when you write code to use these classes, you don't have to do anything to make the overstate work correctly. I won't go through the full code here, but it is available on my GitHub repository. In case you're interested, the text button and custom button code use inheritance. The code of the text button and custom button only consists of an underscore underscore init underscore underscore method. Everything else is inherited from a common base class called pig widgets button. That way the image switching code is actually shared by both classes. But I'll show you the start of this that here's the text button code, and here's where it builds all the images on the fly. And the last thing it does is it calls the common base class init method. And then there's the custom button, and the custom button has very little code. It just loads up the appropriate images, and then it calls the init method of the common base class. The bottom line is this. Using object-oriented programming, I've built two highly reusable classes that makes the job of using fully functional buttons in your programs in Pygame very easy. Please download and install the PigWidgets package and give them a try. I hope you found this information useful.